The San Francisco Recreation and Parks Department has many opportunities to get out and play in our 4,000 acres of parkland. But did you know Rec and Park oversees a remote family camp within the High Sierra? A place to relax, unwind, and remove yourself from the urban life and transform into one of Mother Nature's most treasured off-the-grid oases. Let's escape the gloomy summer fog and journey inside Rec and Park's Camp Maiden. Located 180 miles east from the city by the bay, over the Bay Bridge, past the Oakland Hills, and on and on and on, Camp Mather, the city-owned Sierra Nevada family camping facility, is nestled just outside the gates of Yosemite National Park. The history of Camp Mather dates back many years before the area became a popular vacation site. Even before the pioneers settled in California, Mather was home to a group of Miwok Indians who made their camp near where the corral now stands. Artifacts are occasionally found from these Indians. The black oak was the tree that the native people came up here for, for the acorns. And it had a very, very high food value and was their main staple for food. The acorns were falling off the trees in September, but they would come up in the early part of the year from the foothills. So they were summer residents up here, the same as the people that come to camp. Camp is celebrating its 90th year. The Miwoks were up here for about 4,000. And we see evidence of them in the, 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 the grinding rocks around camp. And we have about 15 grinding sites in camp. So it was a major summer resort area for the Miwoks. Although there are signs that prospectors may have resettled the area during the Gold Rush era, it was not until the early part of this century that the area became heavily populated, when the city of San Francisco began construction of a dam at nearby Hetch Hetchy Valley. During this time, a sawmill was built on the lakeside of Mather to supply the lumber needed for the dam's construction. Birch Lake, now the camp's swimming hole, was used to float logs needed for the project. At the same time, the Yosemite Park and Curry Company used the other side of the camp to house tourists interested in seeing both Yosemite National Park and the construction of the dam. When the O'Shaughnessy Dam was completed, many of the facilities were no longer needed. In the mid-1920s, the city of San Francisco designated the property for use as a family recreation area. It was named Camp Mather in honor of Stephen T. Mather, the first director of the National Park Service. Tucked away amongst the Ponderosa Pine, California Black Oak, and Giant Sequoia is the historical camp entrance. The first name in our title is camp. Camp uh, to me means there's gonna be dirt, there's gonna be some bugs, and as long as you can get past that part, this place is pretty awesome. With a little taste of freedom from the city life, you can really soak up the wilderness experience with a multitude of recreational activities such as swimming, archery, volleyball, canoeing, and horseback riding. We do offer a really good amount of programming here. Uh, we basically give a little sample size of everything that the San Francisco Recreation and Park Department has to offer. The fact that it's been here for 90 years and hopefully we'll be oh, here for 90 more. Oh, that was great. My camp name is Falcon uh, and I'm a recreation leader and I've been leading a lot of the outdoor programs here. Uh, I do fishing trips and mountain biking, a little archery, and have had some time at Arts and Crafts. Well, a 
lot of our guests have been coming for many years and they have almost grown up here. Everything seems to be parent activity or a children activity. And then here at Camp Mather, you, um, you're experiencing it as a family without having to get into the car and drive somewhere. Fill your day with back-to-back -back fun, or just relax and bask in the summer sun at the majestic Birch Lake, the essence of Camp Mather. One thing that's been really interesting, and I think as the week evolves, is there's no cell reception here. We came up here and we were like, oh, there's no reception. And so all the adults are, you know, disconnected. So hence I've noticed there's more connection. You know, the adults, uh, the parents, everyone's just really friendly. But I think in now in our modern culture, you know, everyone's used to kind of being on their phones and having that connection. So I find that people are like, eager to engage, eager to talk. You know, they don't have their social media to kind of satiate that. So here they are at Mather like, how you doing? How'd you sleep last night, you know? How's it going up there? Wow. Have a nice ride? Equipped with over 120 cabins, including staff quarters, guest accommodations, and public utilities commission properties, these rustic structures give Camp Mather the old historical atmosphere, which enhance the total wilderness experience. Cabins feature beds, old wooden dressers, porches, and spacious rugged layout, enough for roughing it in the Stanislaw Forest. But people love to decorate the front of their cabins, their picnic tables and, and their front porches. They make it kind of special. Again, their living room is outside in this awesome environment. It's not that they're inviting their guests in to where the beds are. You know, it's what they do with the outside of their cabin. They kind of, and people get really creative. I mean, you know, with, with those, those little lanterns that are just hung up all over the place and Christmas lights, it's pretty cool. Once the sun sets and the bird chirping quiets, the bullfrogs begin. The whistle of the trees grow, and Camp Mather is seen in a different light. We are approaching dinner time. In the construction of the Hetch Hetchy Dam, the Yosemite Park and Curry Company built Jack Spring Dining Hall to serve both the workers and tourists. The building continues to do what it does best, serve the delicious camp food. My name is Nathaniel Collins. I'm the executive chef here at Camp Mather. It's my job to oversee the production of over 1,500 meals per day for the guests of Camp Mather. Uh, breakfasts are uh, pancakes and French toast and scrambled eggs and hash browns. Our meal format is Americana. We have roast loin of pork tonight. Very Americana, very reflective of the audience we have. People love our meals. They love the idea that they can come in and pick up a meal and they don't have to worry about shopping or doing dishes. They can enjoy and then have a great time at Camp Mason. After campers indulge themselves in a cornucopia of tasty sustenance, everyone relaxes and embraces the crisp evening air while roasting s'mores over the crackling of a campfire. The evening is capped off with a staff talent show, a longtime tradition at Camp Mather. The show features various entertainment, such as skits and music. Try this trick and spin it, yeah. This talent show, the talent show is famous for traditional things, but we have branched out into new things.
just from the first time being on stage for the talent show, being embarrassed up there and getting a huge applause, you know, I never expected it, and just so many different random things. It's just really, it's just a really great experience altogether up here. Unlike any other, twinkling stars in the evening skies are a sight that will leave an unforgettable memory. Admission to Camp Mather is available through a lottery system, and your stay includes cabin accommodations, meals, and camp programs. Remember, all applicants register online into a lottery, and you must have a Rec and Park family account to register. Registration for the lottery typically begins the first week of January and ends the first week of February. This high Sierra oasis is an ideal place to bring your family. Enjoy life outside of the hustle and bustle, and just kick back and embrace nature. I think just getting out in nature is uh, really good for your perspective on life. Uh, it's also just beautiful, and out here, is, everything is just so huge and very beautiful. The children are up here playing around. They're riding their bicycles. It's a great place to let children see what the world is like outside of the city. Come and experience this unique family camp you'll not soon forget while you get lost in the High Sierra wilderness. Camp Mather is waiting and we look forward to seeing you here soon.